Dane County Mega Millions ticket worth $1 million. Area departments respond to house fire near Elkhart Lake. Harley Davidson announces recall. These stories and much more coming up on Community News Review. This is Community News Review, a service of WSCS TV, news content provided by WHBL. Hello, I'm Maddie Fister, and this is Community News Review for Wednesday, October 24th, 2018. More than a dozen area fire departments were called out to respond to a fire at a home near Elkhart Lake Tuesday night. The Sheriff's Department got a 911 call shortly before 6 o'clock reporting an active fire at a home on Keystone Road in the town of Rhine. No one was injured and the homeowner was displaced and officials are not sure how the fire started. A suspected drunk driver offered a police officer cash and World Series tickets to avoid being taken to jail. 42-year-old Trinity Kl Klasinski of Mas Masini appeared in Marathon County Court on Monday on six offense operating while impaired and bail jumping. Bond was set at $16,000 cash. Police reports say another driver called 911, saying that Klasinski was driving erratically on Highway 51. Police located him at a gas station in Rothschild, where he refused a field sobriety test. He was then taken to the hospital for a blood drawn. And the police reports say he offered the officer money or World Series tickets if the Brewers were playing, if he could be taken home without being arrested. He is currently not facing any additional bribery charges, and he will face additional charges and a mandatory license suspension for refusing the field, field breath test. The Wisconsin State Patrol assisted in this case. And earlier this summer, Klasinski was wanted for crashing his motorcycle into a boat and trailer in Portage County. He is due back in court on Friday. Governor Walker says that the state will put off the largest road projects in southeastern Wisconsin if he is reelected. Walker said during an interview on WISN radio, we are not doing massive new interchanges in Milwaukee. Walker said the projects take a long time to complete and they are disruptive for drivers. We need to finish the work on the Marquette and then on the zoo, he said, but we need to take a break here. Business leaders are calling for up to $1 billion in improvements on the I-94 corridor in Milwaukee. The state has already committed to a separate road widening in Racine to accommodate the Foxconn development. And the governor spoke earlier about increasing state aid to counties and municipalities for road maintenance. He said the focus is in the next few years will be on maintaining and improving infrastructure that we already have. Walker also said at a stop in Appleton that he is opposed to issuing driver permits to undocumented aliens. He said Tony Evers' approach is actually ignoring the law. FEMA teams are in Dane County assisting with registration for relief funds. Disaster Service System teams began door-to-door -door canvassing in the village of Mazomani. The teams are also in parts of Dane and Sauk counties this week. Registration is the first step to getting emergency financial help. Those needing assistance can call FEMA's hotline at 800-621-3362 or register online at disasterassistance.gov or go to the Disaster Recovery Center, which will be open shortly in Middleton. Last week, President Trump provided federal disaster aid for individuals and businesses in Crawford, Dane, 
Juneau, La Crosse, Monroe, Richland, Sauk, and Vernon counties from flooding and tornadoes in August and September. Harley Davidson is recalling almost 240,000 motorcycles for problems with their clutches. The company made that announcement on Tuesday. It is a voluntary safe recall that affects Touring, Trike, CVO, and some soft tails. The bikes were built in 2017 and 2018, and Harley dealerships will make the repairs for free. This is the fourth time that Harley has issued a recall because of clutch problems since 2013. A recall last year affected 46,000 bikes and was blamed for 27 crashes. Earlier this year, Harley recalled 175,000 motorcycles for brake fluid issues. And an update, over 2,000 volunteers are helping in the search for clues surrounding the disappearance of 13-year-old Jamie Kloss. Kloss disappeared from her Barron County home over a week ago after her parents were killed. Volunteers have been split into small groups with a police officer accompanying them in heavily wooded areas. Authorities and volunteers are hoping for clues and are looking for things like guns, cell phones, clothes, and anything else that could be related to her disappearance. And more on this event, a funeral service for James and Denise Kloss have been set for Saturday afternoon at 1 p.m. at St. Peter's Catholic Church in Cameron, according to an obituary put out by Rosh and Steel Funeral Home. The couple was killed in their home on the morning of October 15th by an intruder who then abducted their daughter, Jamie Kloss. Visitation will be held by the family from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. at the church, and the Barron Police Department will be holding a news briefing today at 4 p.m. for the Barron County Sheriff's Office. And finally, Wisconsin was not left out of Tuesday's big Mega Millions prize pool. A ticket sold in Dane County matched four of the five white numbers drawn, but not the Mega Ball, making it a $1 million winner. The ticket was purchased at a quick trip located at 525 Springdale Street in Mount Horeb. Tuesday's winning Mega Millions numbers were 5, 28, 62, 65, and 70, with a Mega Ball of 5. The Mega Plier number was 3, and the winners at all prize levels have 180 days to claim their prize by mail or in person at the Lottery's Madison or Milwaukee offices. The $1 million ticket must be claimed at the Lottery's headquarters in Madison. The grand prize was worth an estimated $1.537 billion with the winning ticket sold in South Carolina, and the winner has not yet been identified. The Mega Millions jackpot had been growing since mid-July and will now reset to $40 million for Friday's drawing. And that's all we have for today. Join me again next week for another recap of our local news on Community News Review. News content for this program provided by WHBL in cooperation with WSCS-TV.